Hey, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. Today we're gonna be creating, this page turn logo reveal animation, without any third party plugin. So before we jump into After Effects, let's see the preview. So let's get started. Create a new composition, and name it to Page Turn Logo Reveal. As always, I am using 1920 by 1080 resolution, with 30 frames per second, and duration 7 seconds. Hit OK. Let's start by creating a new solid, name it as BG and hit OK. Go to effects in the presets, and search for gradient ramp effect. Apply this effect to BG layer. And change some settings. Change the first color to this blue color. Change this value to 540. And change this value to 4000. Set this to radial ramp, and click on swap colors. Now import your logo into your project. In my case the logo is bigger, so I am scaling it. Don't worry, in case of logo, you can also add text. Now right click on your logo layer, and pre-compose it. Select move all attributes option, and hit OK. Now go to effects and presets, and search for CC page turn. Apply this effect to your logo layer, and then change some settings. Change controls to top left corner, change fold position X value to 2730. And change the Y value to 760. Now go to around 15 frame and add a keyframe on it. Then go to 2 seconds, and change the X value to 1010, and Y value to 650. Now add a keyframe on fold radius, go to around 15 frame, and change the value to 400. Now press U to open all the keyframes, and hit F9 to easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Click here to make the layer 3D. Now press S to open scale. Go to 1 second and add a keyframe on it. Switch to 0 frame. And change the scale value to 0. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Now go to effects and the presets. And search for find edges. Apply this effect to logo layer. Enable the invert option. Hold alt and click on this stopwatch icon. And type this expression. Now select logo layer, and press Ctrl plus D, to make 9 duplicate of it. You can go as long as you want. Select the first layer, and delete this effect. Now select the upper 9 layers, and shift every layer to 5 frames forward. Just like this. Now select all the layers, and pre-compose them. 
name it as logo animation. Make this comp 3D. Now create a null object layer. Now drag this equip to null layer. Make this layer 3D too. Now press P to open position. And change the Y value to 440. Add a keyframe on it. Then go to the last frame. And change the Z value to 220. Now right click on last keyframe. And select ease ease in. Now select the logo comp. And make the duplicate of it. Rename the lower comp to logo shadow. Press S to open scale. And unlink the scale. Then change the Y value to 55. Open the position, and change the Y value to 440. Now go to effects in the presets, and search for fill effect. Apply it to this layer. And change the color to dark gray. Now again go to effects and the presets, and search for Gaussian blur effect. Make sure you apply this effect. Change its blurriness to 200. Also change its opacity to 50%. Now the last step is to create an adjustment layer. And in effects and the presets panel, apply curve effects to it. And make the curve like this. To make the color pop up. Perfect. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete. You can download this template from the link in the description. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to check out my other videos, and don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ask me what you want in the comment section. I'll see you next week, thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day.